Hey everybody. Hi, Mia san. Welcome to Father's Day. We're gonna pray for you at the end of this message. And we're doing a series on the Good Shepherd. What sort of God is God? He is the good shepherd. And today we're talking from Psalm 23. It's, it's part three of a series. But each part is separate. Today is His presence is my protection. His presence around me is my protection. And around you. And around your families. Come on, God is with us. God is around us. Yeah, there's angels around us. He's working. Is over us. Come on, give him a big praise. I love this psalm. It talks a lot about God's protection in our lives. And protection it was, a, was, a, was something I, I saw in my cousin's sheep farm. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, the sheep farm was beautiful. Uh, the rivers were beautiful. And the trees. And the, and the, the sheep were thousands of sheep. And it just looked so peaceful. And uh, as a little boy going there every holidays, it was amazing. Uh, the sheep were so woolly. Uh, the little lambies were so cute. Uh, it was just a wonderful thing. But I remember my cousin. James talking about there was a predator, someone attacking the sheep. And as a farmer, he said, We've got to do something about it. And my cousin James was a peaceful person, but he knew that this, this animal, whatever it was, hurting the sheep. He said, We're going to get in the truck and we're going to go out at night to find this. Predator. So I remember as a little boy, wow, this is exciting. Uh, I was in the back and over the hills and uh, at, at these big spotlights out of the front of the, 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 the Jeep or the, the, the truck, whatever it was. And we stopped at an area where there was a uh, sheep had been attacked. And we stopped there and we said, we've got to wait for this predator. This wild animal. And I realized that this nice, sweet cousin of mine had to be be strong in protection. And God is a good God. Full of love and grace. But He wants to protect His sheep. And you know what? Protection is a big reason why I became a believer. I was a fireman at nine, when I was 19. Fighting big fires in Sydney. And a one night in a fire situation. I was not a believer. I was far from God. In that fire, I was miraculously safe. I probably should have died in that fire. Not only did I survive, but I had no injury. It was night time. And I was wet from the water, from the hose. And I was hot. But I knew that something had happened and saved my life. And I looked up at heaven and I said, Who are you? Who saved me? Who helped me? Who, was, who, who are you? And, and it sent me on a search to know who God was. In the next six months, I got a Bible. And I read about Jesus. And then I read about Jesus. And I read about Jesus. And I realized that he is a great protector. His presence is our protection. And I began to realize it was Jesus that saved me that night. And after six months, I went to a little church. Didn't understand much. But I said to God, now, I want to believe in Jesus. And the darkness in me left. And the grace of Jesus came on my life. And all of a sudden, his presence was in my heart. And I walked out of that church, not just having a protector over me or somewhere, but now his presence was in my life. And his presence is my protection. And his presence is your protection. And I want to just, just mention just for a moment, Father's here today. God is called God the Father. He cares for you. And he wants you to care for 
for your family. Make great decisions for your family. For your wife, and your kids, or maybe a single mom. I, I know there's a lot of things you have to do. But God is with you. He wants to protect you and your whole family. Come on, give him a big praise. His presence is my protection. Well, my cousin James was able to destroy that predator. To bring peace back to the farm. And this is what Jesus has done in our lives. So when we come to Psalm 23, this is number three in our series. Part one is the Lord is my shepherd. Number two is he, he's, he makes me healthy and healed. The Bible says here in Psalm 23 verse 2, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters and He refreshes my soul. Jesus is my shepherd. He brings me to health. I am not broken anymore. I have weakness. Yeah, I do. But I'm not broken. God has healed me, is healing me. This week, God is our protection. So we're going to read verse 3 to 5. And there's four things we see God is protecting us in. You ready? Here we go. Verse 3. It says, He guides us along the right paths for His namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. God is watching us. God is with us. You ready? Number one is this. It says, In the many paths of life, God is watching over our lives. Uh-huh. God is with you. God is ahead of you. God is, God is for you. His word is leading us. His word is guiding us. He is with us in the tracks of life. In the tracks of getting a job, finding a partner. In all the important things, being part of a local church, having great friends, he is watching over our tracks. And when you see the picture of these tracks, you see the little tracks. They're little paths. And they're sort of they're all different. And I know that when Viv and I came to Japan, we, 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 were, we were on a new track. We were in Australia before that. We were happy. We were following God's track. And all of a sudden, Viv had this vision from God. It was like a new, a new guidepost. You know? uh, Japan. This way. What? what? What's going to happen? And I know that Viv felt a lot of uh, fear at the moment. But she felt God say to her, don't be afraid. It's me. This guideway, guidepost is me. This vision is me. And Viv said to me, oh, if it was just you, Rod, I don't know if I was able to go to Japan. <laughs> but if God said it, I can go to Japan. <laughs> so we came here 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago. Uh, it was difficult. It was hard. But it was the track that God was leading us on. Uh, it was a little track at first. And, uh, just a few of us and the tracks just got bigger over time but we've always known God's protection someone said to me once you know isn't it dark in Japan and I said Mm, no. <laughs> All I do is feel Jesus. <laughs> you see, it's not about the stuff out there. It's about in here. Number two, it says in, in, the, in the valley of deep trouble, in, in the valley of the shadow of death, it says you're with me in the shadow of death. 
Valley of Shadow of Death. Why are we in a valley anyway? It says the shepherd is taking us through to another place to eat. And I can think of times in my life and Viv's life, it's been tough. A valley of deep trouble. A valley of, oh God, what's happening? And it's not fair. And what, where are you? And, but even in those times I could feel God. Outside here it was tough. But in here is, is God's presence. His presence is our protection. And I remember, I remember being in difficult times in my life. Uh, one day I was put in jail in a certain country. Another country I was chased by a man with a big knife, a big sword. Uh, I was preaching the gospel. And, uh, another country I, w- I was hit. Uh, another country I had to run for my life through a marketplace. And, uh, <laughs> but God was with me. Because I'm here today, right? <laughs> God was with me in the time of deepest sadness where everything did it went wrong God was with me in the valley of the shadow of death you are with me hey in the hard time God never leaves you even if you don't feel him you, you sense he's with you I sense he's with me I know he's with me and I can go forward with his help even just the last few weeks one of my friends here in Japan, uh, a pastor in Japan, uh, one of my good friends, he got the, the pandemic and, and, and he uh, probably almost died <laughs> and he said it was just like in a moment, it was just two weeks of absolute, it was terrible and he just, all he could do was play music on, on the goodness of God and, uh, and, and sort of in and out of consciousness and, and his wife was saying, come on, come on. Believe in the Lord. And believe for healing. And, and, and he's just listening to the music. And, and, and all of a sudden, he started getting better and better. And he's not 100% today. But he said about 85% better. He went through the valley of the shadow of death. But God was with him. God is with him. And even in the hard place. Come on. Even in the hard place. God doesn't leave you. Come on. His presence is my protection. The third area, it says, Lord, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The rod was like a club to hit any like bad wolf or something. Your, your club is, is close to me. You're going to hit the devil. And, and the staff is to help correct me in my, my direction. But we also read in the Bible uh, that King David was good with the sling. Pachinko? Is that the word? Okay, pachinko. He wasn't in the pachinko parlor. Okay. Uh, but, but, but King David was in the, he was a shepherd. And it says, he, he says, I killed the bear, I killed the lion in order to save the sheep. I want to show you just a video right now. These are how, how strong these slings are. These shepherds are kind. But when the wolf comes, they're going to be tough. They're going to be strong. It's in the sling of God is going to take care of the enemy. <laughs> and the last thing it says is, you're going to prepare a meal for me even in front of my enemies. Now I don't really care about eating in front of enemies. <laughs> but what it's saying is, eat no matter what happens, I'm still going to eat God's goodness. God's food, good sleep, good friendships. Even if there's enemies around, I'm still going to have God's peace in my life. So these are the four things in Psalm 23. Let's look at John 10 before we finish today. Because Jesus said the same sort of things. He said basically, 
basically we're going to read John 10:10 10, 10, first of all. It says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. Something bad happens is is that God no it's the thief. It says that the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. But in that situation, God can bring us life and abundant life. Let's read John 10, verse 1. Here we talk about the, the, the sheep pen where, where Jesus has his sheep. That's us. It says, Very truly, I, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in some other way is a thief and a robber. よく言っておきます。The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. Jesus goes straight in. でも、文から入ってくれるんですよ。そう、教的じゃないよ。そう、教的じゃないよ。そう、教的じゃないよ。そう、教的じゃないよ。そう、教的じゃないよ。そう、教的じゃないよ。そう、教的じゃないよ。
ねえ、おじいちゃん、おじいちゃん。あ、あ、ジーサス she said, well, if the devil comes and knocks on the door of my heart, I'm going to ask Jesus to go and answer the door. <laughs> Come on, praise God. And even though she was a, a young girl, she understood his presence is her protection. And his presence is your protection. So I'm going to pray with us right now. And I'm going to pray especially for dads and, and, and caregivers. God is with you. And we're going to sense his presence on all of us. Every one of us. But a special mention to dads today. You're doing a great job, dads. Come on, trust in the Lord. His presence is your protection. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. You are in our lives. I pray for protection. Every one of us. From the wolves and the strange voices and everything else. Protect us. Help us to go straight ahead with you, Lord. And I pray for the dads and single moms and special protection people for special touch today. They would know your strength, know your power, and know your wisdom. You are with them in every situation. I pray for our families and our single people in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Come Amen. on, give God a big praise. And finally, would you like to know the Good Shepherd right now? You've heard about him. He died for you. And right now you say, Yes, I want to know Jesus. And I count to three and ask you to receive Jesus. Are you ready? One, God loves you. Two, would you open your heart? And three, right now, come on. Let's receive Jesus. Let me pray. Thank you, Jesus. Pray you come into these people's lives. Forgive them. Love them. Fill them with future and a hope. And right now, your protection all over their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oh, I love that. His presence oh, is our protection. Have an amazing week. And next week is our last of our series. I think you're going to love that one. Come on, come on back. Have a great week.